In this clip, I'll be moving a assignment from my personal drive, where it is, to the college G Suite for Education drive that's linked to Canvas. This is the one I wish to move. And to move it, I'll go to Share. Enter my and share it to my G Suite for Education address. That will then put it into my college drive under Shared with Me. There's the file. I do this manually, one file at a time, because there are dates here that will be removed. Um, and I'll go ahead and remove those. And one other thing I'm going to do, I deleted some periods up here. I'm going to put those back. Those force column J to appear in the mobile app on Android. If you don't do that, the file will truncate at the last column that has content in it, and students won't be able to see what's off the right side. So there are these manual adjustments I'll be making. Uh, homework looks all right. It's got that set, shared with me. One other thing I need to do with this file, though, I need to make a copy of it. I could have done that earlier uh, before I did the edit, but I want the date removed anyway. And so I'm creating a copy of the Quartel's homework. Uh, why? Because this file is still owned by my personal drive. And I want it to be owned by the college drive. So by making a, a copy, uh, that will gen generate the file I want to use. That, that will be owned by the college drive itself. You'll see that. When I come back to here and go back, this is my college drive. And when I go back to my college drive, there's the file uh, I just created. This one is now owned by the drive, whereas the one under shared with me is the one owned still by m my old account. This one I'll go ahead and I'll put that into the statistics folder because that's where I'll need it. Yeah. So it's in the statistics folder, and I'll, I'm set up. You can see it in here. And so it's owned by, uh, owned currently by the college drive, as seen in up here. I'll go to Canvas. I'll work from assignments to set this assignment up, and then I'll put it in the correct module in a moment. I'll tell it I want to add a new assignment. And I'll give it the assignment a name. The assignment name, I try to keep these things uh, all running the same basic names. Is there uh, directions are in the attached spreadsheet? I may change the wording later as I go along. This will be an 11 point assignment. You can see that there. Set up 11. This will get entered in a couple of different places. And under submission type, usually the default is no submission online on paper. I want an external tool because I'm using Google Drive assignment. So I'm setting up an external tool. The key here is just click on Find. I'm using the Google Drive Assignments LTI 1.3. This is the new version. There is a Google LTI that is being deprecated, phased out over the next uh, few months or so. This is a transition to a new uh, learning tools interface that Google is. Um, and so I'm going to click on that, on the actual tool itself. This part can take a little while to load. It'll ask me if I'm working, which, uh, where it's coming from. Uh, that's the linked account. And now I'll go ahead and attach here under attach. 
Uh, I haven't tried playing with the plagiarism option. That's an option for us. I'll click Attach. And now I'll go ahead and go to my drive uh, to make sure I pick up the right one and not the shared copy. I want this one here. I could also search for the file, and I'll be doing that probably in future terms. And I'm going to add that. Each student will get a copy. Notice I also set points here, so I'll set points. And I'll also be setting the due date here. The due date on this particular one will be back on the 18th of January. And um, this one I'll set up as being 6 p.m. rather than midnight, 5 p.m. Uh, end of business day in the app. So we'll set that up on the uh, 18th at 6 p.m. If I had a rubric, I'd attach it here. I'll be using that in physical science. But I don't have a rubric for this one. And now I will go ahead and create this assignment. Give it a moment. It comes back there. This is where it's a little tricky. At this point, you click on Select. Now I can... I'm in the correct... I'm in my assignments. That's correct. Points. That's correct. Allowed attempts. That's correct. If it's not, then you can change it, but that's sort of the way I want it set. It's assigned to everyone. I will go ahead and also set the due date here. I don't know that it which one is necessary, but I assume they, they, this needs to be set for it to show up properly, I assume, in the calendar and syllabus time, 6 p.m. Okay. So there we go, Monday, January 18, 6 p.m. I make those two. I'm not setting available from two. That is optional. A quick check to see that I've set things up. You'll see there's a link now in there. Uh, I leave things otherwise with the default settings. So and I can always go back and edit some parts of this later. This piece I can't. The students have already got a, a copy created in a folder hidden in their file. So I'm going to go ahead and save and publish this at this point. So I did have to set the points in a couple places and the date in a couple places. Now, the um, that assignment is set up. I'll go down to the modules. Go down to the module where I want this to be. Uh, let me take that out. That was a previous practice run. I'll remove that from there. Come up here to the plus sign and tell it I want to add this 2.2 assignment. And I'm going to indent it one level. Add the item. And there's the item at the, at the bottom in Chapter 2 where it belongs. And so that's how I get assignments set up in here. You can see the assignment 2.2 quartile instructions are in the attached spreadsheet. And then the Google Drive assignments piece, the LTI piece showing up there. Uh, and so that's, um, that's how I get assignments moved across and set up here in uh, Google. Uh, if you have questions, let me know.